Hey guys, welcome to a new FL Studio tutorial. We are now going to see a type of automation. I call it in advance automation, mainly because we don't use it as much as the playlist automation. For example, that we have here, just like this or like this. And this type of automation, it's pretty much less CPU intensive as it works within the piano roll. So yeah, this automation is called events, events automation. You will see that when you right click, you will have this option, which says edit events. For example, in this filter, I haven't used that type of automation. So it will show up, edit events and edit events in piano roll. So that's pretty much what we want to do. When we click that, it will bring up the uh, piano roll. And here, all we need to do is right click in this section. It will show up now the parameter that we just want to automate. So we need to click it. And then we can start doing the drawing with a pencil so we can create our automation. So for example, I can do this. I'm doing it with left click. But if you want something more precise, you can use right click and it will show up this tool where you pretty much can create more complex and really have control with this automation. For example, I want to create something like this. So now you're pretty much thinking what's the difference between this type of automation and the other type of automation the playlist automation or the events automation. So the advantages that we have with the events automation is that we can save space. If you have a really messy project and you are already tired on creating and creating automation in automation, because that's what happens when you have a really complex project. And this one, I just have pretty much designed some drums for uh, projects that I'm working on, so it's not too complex. But it happens when you have a complex project, you have to automate a lot of stuff. So that's pretty handy because you just get in, in the plugin, right click, and then just go ahead and click this option. Now this option only works with native plugins in FL Studio. You pretty much will be able to use it in anything within FL Studio. Just make sure you right click and you check this option so you can have it, you know, within the piano roll. And then you can just go ahead and get creative. So for example, I did some automation here. Let's just hear this sound alone or by itself. You can see it's pretty much working the same as it would if we had the automation clip within the playlist. So yeah, if you want a less CPU intensive form to automate, try this one. Also, if you want to save space and if you're not really good with organizing your project, you should definitely try events automation. So I hope you liked the video. And if that was the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any questions, just comment below. I'll do my best to answer them and I'll see you in the next tutorial.